I want you to get the most controversial bat season 15. Started right when I was five. Yeah, we on this side, nigga. Yo, What's up? Like, pull up. You think you can make a hook? I'm like, hell yeah. yeah. All right, guys, Ham Radio. We're here on uh, Wes Anderson's new uh, movie set. Ten years ago, I was skinnier and I used to wear glasses. I had laser eye surgery, but a girl out front of the um, a girl in front of the Denny's told me I look like Wes Anderson. Oh wow! And I know he's not attractive, but the fact that he's artsy, <laughs> the fact that he's artsy, I was like, hell yeah! Honestly, anytime someone's gonna say you look kind of look like whatever they fucking say, it's never positive. It's never positive. I don't know. I'm like Gary Oldman. Is he handsome? No. No. Right? He's not handsome. Gary Oldman? No, he's not handsome. You know who I got, I've got? i gotten multiple times? I've gotten Jimmy Fallon. I don't know who that is. You know who Jimmy fucking <laughs> Fallon? Oh. But when you say his name, I cannot imagine his face. So I don't think you look like him. I've had did. three different people tell me. Oh. Who else? I've got Gary Oldman when he was younger and sexy. Mm. I've got in... Um, who's the other dude that was in um, Blue Valentine? And he was in the notebook. Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling. You are not Ryan Gosling. Just because you're, me and Ryan you're a crazy person. Just because me and Ryan Gosling have similar bodies. No, you definitely. So that. Wait, didn't you at someone on the bus the other day ask you if you had abs? Okay, so, I'm on, <laughs> so I'm, I was on the train, and a uh, and, uh, homosexual male. He said, uh, he said, he said, he said, he said, oh, I like your tattoos. I said, oh, thanks. He goes, my friend thinks you're cute. I said, oh, thanks. And then a minute later, he goes. He goes, uh, excuse me, do you have abs? <laughs> and the fact that Wait, someone would think that I have abs. Do you think they were clowning you, though? No. That didn't cross your mind once. Like, no, the like dude, oh, my God, I'm going to ask him if he has abs. No, the dude definitely thought I was cute, like, for sure. Well, that's fine, but the abs thing. Maybe he was negging look, you. With this shirt he was on, negging you, with this right? Shirt that's on, what. Do you look like I might have abs on underneath this? No, definitely not. Why? Do I look fat in the face? Or do I no, look- I'm so insecure with my body, I can read other people's bodies really well. It's like a secret power that I have. I could have abs under this. No. All right, guys. We're here with six dogs. Ham hey, radio. Was there very, very rare episode? We're here backstage. Uh, backstage, uh, and you're, we just did your sound check at your first show. You do. That's wild. Are you excited or are you nervous? I am excited. It's actually not my first show, but it's my first big show. Oh, mm. dope. I've had small shows, but well, the sound check sounded great. Oh, thank you. Is there a song that you are most excited to perform? Um. I don't know. I'm just excited. Is there a song that you're least excited to perform? Um, no. Uh, <laughs> I feel like a lot of artists really. don't like playing like their like their what they're stuff. known for or like their banger just because like, oh, you yeah. do it so fucking much. Yeah. Well, I definitely haven't had that experience yet because still new to all this. Yeah. But, yeah. No. I'm but not, I, I heard excited. you say you're not a big fan of Flossin. Yeah, it's because. I don't know. I feel like it was what I was going through at the time, but I'm not there. But I feel like it's good, though, to, like, you know, remember where you came from and what yeah. you've been through. You know, Fago Dreams, thankful for these scars. That's I, a great one, You got to be the thankful way. for these scars, bro. So during Floss and Fago Dreams, you're, like, in a dark place, and now you feel like no, you're No, Fago Dreams is a very positive song. Uh, but, um, okay, so then Floss and you're in a dark place, but now you feel much more positive? Uh, It's more, like, triumphant, you know what I mean? Because right. it's, like, been there, done that, you know what I'm saying? Got through it came out the other side what was it like being in high school and having like a popping online like career um like the kids know or like yeah i mean everyone knows in my high school now it got i mean i dropped out this year Uh, i should be a senior right now i would uh, be finishing up wait how old are you again i just turned 19 uh cinco de mayo just a second ago taurus i don't know why i said that i am a taurus i don't know what does that mean i don't i don't don't know what taurus means either i am a taurus though i just know that before do you know what a taurus i that's the like uh Uh, i thought you meant like taurus like visiting never mind (laughs) that's (laughs) what i heard at first but now i got it what is what is a taurus we're both taurus i'm a gemini oh okay but i would be a taurus if i was born one day earlier and that's okay so you're like right there on the fence yeah i don't know what it means as we cusp. say, as we say in the um, astrology community, I'm on the cusp. Because plus, I didn't oh, even know you were into just astrology. Oh, on yeah. the mic. Um, so yeah, would they would they be like would they come up to you and just be like uh, like Yeah, I mean, you know, school is already just a place where they just American school systems are so fucked, bro. Yeah. They're completely backwards. They just suck the creativity out of everyone and just just squeeze them, bro. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it was already kind of cheeks, and then you know. 
I'm in the hallway and there's kids coming up to me, like taking a picture with me, and like I'm fine with that, but you yeah. know, ask, you know, there's boundaries and yeah. stuff. It's just kind of weird, you know what I mean? It's already very distracting school because it's just like just a bunch of teenagers just thrown into a. It feels like a bunch of lab rats, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, so it's already very distracting, and then when you add that other element, it's just like. So I was like, all right, enough of this. Yeah. Were yeah. any kids jealous and, like, being rude or mean to you? Um, I mean, every high school, especially now, has SoundCloud rappers. And so funny. I'm like... Oh, so yeah. they were, like, trying to give you... They wanted you to link and build. Um, yeah, <laughs> definitely. But I wasn't even opposed to it. Like, if you're fire, you're fire. It doesn't... Yeah. I don't care about names and stuff. But, like... But, but, okay, how many rappers at your high school, SoundCloud, like, want to be SoundCloud rappers are actually fire? Um, in your high school. Well, I wouldn't know because I don't like pay attention to that. But I'm sure there could be some some up and coming, you know. Do kids freestyle, like at lunch? Oh man, yeah, 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 yeah. And then, you know, there's always the the freestyle circle when you get you get faded with the boys. You know, boys <laughs> night. Yeah. Whoop whoop. Um, <laughs> but nah, um, I was at um, I was playing basketball at this gym near my high school. This is after I dropped out, and this kid came up to me, and he was, like, freestyling, and I was just trying to play basketball, and it was, like, a 15-minute thing, and Jesus it's, like, Christ, yeah. again, it's just boundaries, you know what I mean? Yeah. But was he trying to freestyle so battle you? No, he was just, he just trying to be, like, to he, wanted to, he wanted to, like, you know, collab on a beat, bro. He, he, wanted to, he wanted to link and build, and, like, there's nothing wrong with that. It was just, like, again, bro, it's yeah. boundaries, but it's, like, I understand it because, like, to them, it's, like, they may never get this opportunity again type of thing because yeah. I used to be like that, too, because there were people I looked up to, and, you know, when you get around them, you just, like, malfunction, you know what they I mean? They say, yo, six dogs. <laughs> I got six <laughs> I was say, it's just like Damon. Damon would get all coked up, and then he would just like stand in the club, like freestyling in your ear, yeah. and he'd just be like, "Stop!" It's like, get it's away like, from me, right? Like, like, you're my like, friend. I love you. Get the that's fuck away. That's hilarious. I'm gonna start doing that. Just whispering. Just whispering. Whispering. He's like, he's like, yo, man, get out of here. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Dude? That's how Prince like, could That's hilarious. Um, so I know you always talk about Wait, uh, your. I want to before that. So Why do you want to go being, first? Talking about being more positive, and you told me that you just read the secret. Hmm. Um. What did you get out of that? Oh man, a bunch of stuff. Um, I mean, that's why I'm here right now. You know, the whole law of attraction, positive thoughts attract positive swag. You know what I'm talking about? Um, but yeah, that's why I'm here is because of that. I mean, it's pretty much, um, I was on that wave, but it just kind of puts it into ways that make more sense. Um, yeah, great book. Recommend it to so I the cameras. Read it, but I kind of get it. So it's about manifestation. Do they yeah. say you manifest it by saying it or by writing it down or what is? Um, you, uh, you manifest it by just putting it in the air, right? By like, thinking that you, you know, already have it and just in the, in the secret, it said the easiest way to just flip your whole, your whole shebang, your whole life is just to appreciate everything. And so, I mean, if you're in a constant state of appreciation, there's something stupid could happen and you'd be like, Oh, this is amazing. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. that's what I feel like, like. I don't know. This is some dumb shit that happens, and I'm just like, yo, this is lit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I don't know. At a certain point, it's just, shit's just awesome, and you just gotta appreciate it, yeah. even for for what it is, even if it's not where you want to be yet. You're here now. You know what I mean? Do you know about Jim Carrey's manifestation? Mm-hmm. Of oh, the check. He wrote down the million dollar yeah. check. Yeah. So you know something weird that happened to me. So like, when I was in middle school, I was like. So I've, I was always like really obsessed with hip hop and I'm older. So this was in the nineties when there was like hip hop moguls, like a Russell Simmons where they'd have like, um, they'd have a record label and they would have a clothing line, all this shit. So I used to like daydream about it. And in school at class, I wouldn't pay attention, but I'd write on a piece of paper. I'd write like, I want to be a show promoter. I want to do this. I want to, and I wow. draw pictures of what I thought I would look like. Mm -hmm. and well, just, what do like, these pictures look like? Just like stupid photos, like <laughs> me wearing this. Anyway, so I like would, <laughs> I would obsess and I didn't know I was like manifesting. I was just yeah. like, and I did it so fucking much. And once I got clean off drugs, everything just started happening. Like everything yeah. I'm doing now is literally stuff in sixth grade. I was like writing on a piece of paper. It's like insane. It's crazy. So I believe in manifestation so much. Yeah. I don't, I definitely, I don't know what it is, but I know it's something and I just, it got me here. So I would feel like I would just be, you know, kind of a, a dumbass to not follow the system that got me here. So I'm just chilling, going with the, the system. I don't really know what it is, but. It works. It, it got works. it got me here, so I think it'll get me where I want to go. It's crazy. I mean, yeah. I say the same thing about about God. I know you grew up as a Christian, mm -hmm. so like with God, it's like I don't know if God is real, but I know that when I pretend to believe in it, mm -hmm. 
everything in my life ends up working out. Yeah, for me, um, yeah, because I was, I was Christian, and then so I kind of went away from that. So I was kind of repelled by it because it was kind of, you know, forced down my throat a little bit um, growing up. And then um, so I was kind of against it. And then, I don't know, as of the past two years or three years or something, for me, like the word God and like oneness are same thing like if I were because I know a lot of bible verses because I was you know I I was growing up I had to learn them and stuff and so if you just replace you know the word God with oneness everything makes more sense like there's this one verse it's like uh you know God leads me by quiet pastures and calm waters basically like everything's chill and kosher oneness leads me you know to calm waters and green pastures it's like if you just understand you know everything's one you respect everything it's um, usually it's well, pretty easy so i i grew up really well my mom was really religious also and i'm mm-hmm. very similar in the sense that like i was never really religious and i was kind of forced to like get baptized yeah. uh, the first communion and uh mm-hmm. the confirmation and all that shit and i remember the first job i ever got was i made sure i had to work sunday mornings mm. so i wouldn't go to church okay is there anything that you ever did to kind of like get yourself Um, out of that environment well yeah i mean it's like growing up you're new to to life and everything and you're excited about everything you just want to experience everything and then it's like sunday it's like you got to go to this place and like this is what's going on and like you got to do this um i don't know i mean i always try to finesse it yeah. But honestly, now I'm at the point I'd be like, yeah, fuck it. Let's go to church. Like, who yeah. cares? Like, I don't care. Like, I might learn something. Who knows? You know what I mean? What do your parents think of your career now? Oh, they they think it's awesome. That's they tight. they get it now. Yeah, it's awesome. Did it take a minute to get them to, like, understand yeah, definitely. Like, you're um, actually making an impact? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it was also me, though, too, because I was just into some fuck shit that I shouldn't have been into, just being a teenager and stuff. But, like... Yeah, well, flossing, I was in the Oxycontin and stuff, and then uh, my mom found my... So I got a, I got arrested in high school, and then my mom found out about my music the exact same time, so it was just huge, perfect storm, and it was just, like, blew up in my face. Why did you get arrested at Oxycontin at school? No, no, no. I was off of it um, at that point. It was just dumb high school stuff. I got... I was drunk and like knocked on the wrong door, like, and I was trying to shoot a music video. It was just in the high school during high school hours, during school hours. No, 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 no. It was after school. Um, it was at my friend's house in his neighborhood. It was like super close to my high school, but nah. I think honestly though, it was supposed to happen because like, I don't know. I feel like I grew a lot um, doing that. I got on probation for like a year and just kind of made me chill out, kind of forced me to chill out, and I think it was good because i definitely feel more chilled out now yeah the oxycon shit's so dangerous oh it's terrible dude it's terrible yeah like me being sober and being in the program like i know a lot of people have overdose that relapse and it's almost always because of pills yeah especially oxygen yeah yeah i'm on the natural wave now we natural were just stuff. talking at soundcheck that you just did mushrooms recently and then mm-hmm. uh what i thought was interesting I, heard, I fucking love Shroomers. mushrooms. i just did them like two weeks ago that's like i don't do drugs and i barely yeah. drink anymore but i will fucking do mushrooms like that shit yeah such a, like, i think nice mushrooms experience. are a very sacred thing for sure uh one thing that you said that was interesting that caught my attention was you said you like to do mushrooms and just listen to frequencies mm-hmm. like what do you get out of that um <clears throat> You know, well, you have to go in because, like, I went in. It wasn't like a recreational thing. This was you know, a few few weeks ago, like two weeks ago. I went in like knowing I wanted something out of it and I wanted to learn something, grow, and so I went into it. You know, pure mindset because it's like you know when you're off the mushrooms, it's like you're very sensitive to everything. It's All like emotions, yeah, yeah some you can see something and it'll just like boom, your trips like you're freaking out and it's all terrible and scary but it's like i went in like like all right i'm gonna do this i'm gonna get something from it and yeah i definitely feel like i got something from it i don't know what specifically i don't know if there is something specifically that i got but um yeah it was, it was have crazy. you ever made music I, on mushrooms no yeah. <laughs> I feel that's like definitely tight. uh that would definitely be tight i feel like when i did psychedelics like while i was on it i feel like i was like unlocking things about myself and i was like figuring mm-hmm. things out but then I'd forget it as soon as I was sober. Uh, yeah. I'm like, uh. I feel that. Cause last time I took it, it's like, if, if it's like a freeing experience, like you yeah. don't know, like you don't know exactly what it is, but you feel like it is something understanding though. Of something, yeah. I think it is something. Yeah. I think. But you know what? As a sober person now, when I go into nature, 
I think it's like, cause I used to, I would only go into nature if I was like going to do psychedelics, mm. but now I go sober and I still think it's real. Uh, maybe because I've done so many psychedelics, I'm able to see like, that could definitely kind of be it. Yeah. Cause now definitely. I pay attention to the way the sun's hitting a tree or like just the greatness of like a tree and just yeah. like, I don't know. Yeah. And my thing is, I don't know. I, I feel like they're, um, they're tools, you know what I mean? They're here for a reason. They can either, it's all about intention. You know what I mean? You can, it can help you a lot or it can really mess you up. You know what I mean? So it's like, you definitely have to be careful with it because it's a very, uh, sacred thing, you know, like in like the Bible, the original Bible, like the Catholic church fucked up the Bible, like yeah. complete, like, like the way it was supposed to be like, Jesus was off the shrooms heavy, bro. I mean, just tripping balls all the time. Like, I mean, everyone was doing that. That's like, I mean, that's how they came up with those crazy things. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I don't know. A lot of people don't know that, but yeah, I mean, it's like, it just depends what your intention is. So, yeah. Um, another thing I wanted to bring up. So I've never heard of a, a SoundCloud repost success story. And, uh, <laughs> I thought that was really interesting. Too. Yeah, yeah, and That's I didn't funny. know until I started doing research that like Ned was one of the first like reposts. That's that what I got. heard about you. And that's then, awesome. Um, that's Shout so fucking Ned. wild of me. I said, "What? This actually works." Yeah. And you said something earlier where it's like, you know, if you're dope, you're dope. And that's like a perfect example of like you had the talent, you had the music, and you just needed that extra push. Yeah. Um that's so fucking crazy to me. Like, yeah, it is pretty wild, man. Shout out to Ned. Um, yeah, I mean, I say that to everyone. If you got a banger and you know it's it's super zesty, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Get a repost, dude. It's I mean, it it's, couldn't. It's, it's only gonna help. Yeah, it's not it's gonna marketing hurt. Marketing in 2018, like yeah. you don't need a fucking if you're, billboard. You if you're a, not yeah. marketing, I mean, you're but just, a repost from the right person, right? It can't yeah, like, I mean, yeah, it's all about efficiency. You gotta you know streamline yourself and. So who'd you hit up for your first repost? Uh, well, I think it was Ned. That's and crazy. And then you also, I know you hit up Cold Heart and Cold Heart, yeah. Um. Was it after you'd hit up everyone else? Like, did it take NetArb a minute to be like, oh, shit, you're really dope? Or did he immediately? Um, no, it took a second. It was like two weeks. And I was like, because I didn't, well, first of all, just out of principle of it, I was like, yo, I want you to listen to it first. And if you don't fuck with it, don't repost it. Because like, That's dope. that matters. Was he being chill right away? Was he being cool? Um, well, I was just another person to him. At, yeah. um, well, I just, I was another person to him at when it when we first made that interaction. But, um. But then, like, two weeks later, he hit me up and was like, this track is really cool or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's just a excited. cool guy. Yeah. Yeah, because he, he hits me up often, and he's always right. Yeah. About people. He hits yeah. Me up yeah. Like, always right. Yeah. So, me, I was like, oh, shit. Someone said he's like, I don't know who it was, but they were like the, like the DJ Khaled of yeah, the- Yeah, I say this, that all the time. Yeah. Well, fuck DJ Khaled now because he doesn't eat pussy. And we be eating pussy. That's, yeah, uh, right, six that was- <laughs> <laughs> um but nah he yeah i heard that that was a little little wank um yeah, that was a you know little how, whack so we booked a little peep pretty early on before yeah. crybaby and all that and it was because net art would just it was kept telling little people little peep yeah and i booked him without even listening to him and i put him on a show that did not make sense it mm -hmm. was thousand band funny larry june and little peep yeah. wow that's an icon i know show. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the opener 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 yeah. and um but after, after that first night we're like oh, we're like he's a star because i didn't even bother listening i was like uh if net Arb says you know yeah. and um he ended up being big little peep was a big influence for you oh yeah yeah 100 percent uh there was a was it Ned sent you a video of him like dancing to your like, like oh song. yeah you were, like in yeah. class that's yep. so weird to me that's yeah <laughs> I was in math class and I was like man life is looking pretty gloomy right now and then he <laughs> sent me that I was like whoa shoot <laughs> and I was like trying to show people and it was like no one knew who little people was at my school wow. and yeah when was this um 2016 or 2000 yeah it was like a year and a half ago or something it's crazy how fast he blew up. Yeah, it was, it was like, like Cry Baby, and then boom, and then from there, it like really. Changed. I remember seeing his pictures on Instagram and just being like, "Wow, this guy looks really interesting." Yeah. Just off the bat, and then I didn't know who he was, and then it just like happened. Yeah, he was smart. I remember I read page. a screenshot of someone's DM asking him if he should cut his hair, and little peep goes no bro like keep the long hair like people like things they don't they can't have he goes not everybody can have long hair like everyone <laughs> could shave their head so and it was just like oh my god like he's a fucking like a marketing genius also yeah. so like he knows 
like his why he looks that way, you know. And he looks yeah. so cool, like, even like when like how he looked for Day and Night Fest when he had like the pink vest on with the pink pants. Are you talking the Mohawks too? Yeah, he looks yeah. so fucking cool. And I was oh, like, dude, yeah. I'm in my thirties. I'm like, I want to fucking be. Him. <laughs> yeah, dude. Everyone wanted to be him, bro. So he cool. was that guy, bro. He did a lot. When um, you was flossing, the first song you recorded. Um, no, the first song I recorded is called Demons in the A, and I do not like that track. You deleted it, right? Off your no, show. it's still there. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's still there. What I just the don't like it. for Demons in the A? Who are you listening to at that point? Um, well, so, the re- like, one of the reasons I got into it, like, kind of the catalyst is, you know how on Instagram it says, like, followed by so-and-so or whatever? Right. There's this producer, Roland, who, like, produced, uh, you know the activist like biggest song is called Parking Lot Pimpin. We know it. Um, yeah, and uh, I like some girl that I kind of knew was like cousins of someone that I went to high school with. Like followed him. I was like, oh shoot, do you know this guy? She was like, yeah. So I hit him up for the beat. So it's like a his name's Roland, but he's like a pretty big like Atlanta dude. So it was like Uno the activist and like uh, Fawny and. I don't know, just sound like rappers, bro. Just yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. I was just trying to find the the best stuff and just that was like the new Atlanta scene at the time too. It was yeah, like funny, very new, yachty, um, yeah. Uno the activist. That mm-hmm. was like after the McConan father wave. But I was, was also on that too. I was because there was this thing at at high school where it was like. Um, it was like we had a morning show thing and there was this guy, um, his name is Calvin. I'm friends with him now, but he had like this thing. It was called, uh, jams and he would play new music and like everyone at my school thought he was like, all the music he played was like really whack. They were like, what is this? And like, he played like wrist that one time. Like, and I was like, Oh shoot, what is this? I gotta, I gotta explore this. And then I just, I don't know, studied up really like. I don't know. I'm a very, uh, I get obsessed with things very easily. I think that's most artists because right. it's like your job as an artist to get obsessed with the art you make. But like, so I just listen to everything, just everything. And uh, so, yeah, like McConan, huge inspiration. I would love to make a track with McConan. Um, but McConan, Father, all them awful, crazy. So from risking playing on your school's morning show, is that how you discovered Slug Christ? I know you're a big Slug Christ fan. Um, you do some awful obsessive research, and you're like, yeah, I was super into the awful wave. Um, Louis Diamonds, that dude, yeah. crazy. But yeah, Slug. It was just the recommended videos on YouTube. I would just keep going through them and just watching all the stuff I could watch. Um, but yeah, what did a lot of what attracted you to Slug Christ? Was it that like he was like, because he's super artsy. Yeah, dude. You like, cause you're, and you you feel like artsy to me as well. Oh, appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> you you so see what, my nails. So, so was it like, a, like, oh shit, this is like an artsy like white kid that's also doing it. I could do it. Um, I wasn't really that. It was just like what he was saying. No one. I mean, still to this day, no one's ever really said on like a trap beat. You know what I mean? Right. He's like talking about like, I don't like. Uh, like like humans climbing through the canopy like humanoids or so, like whoa what is that you yeah. know what i mean it's it's like sh- it's like doing mushrooms while you're sober and like it's crazy you know what i mean so i i was just i've always been attracted to weird stuff and right I just want to know about stuff Did and it was ever- just like the weirdest thing that i found <laughs> right on a trap beat and i was like it was crazy in your obsessive search of off records and like Christ, did you mm. find his old band stuff when he was like in a mathcore I didn't, band? but I've heard about it. I don't even know really what mathcore is. I've never been into um, the the scream uh, stuff really. Do you think it's because? Because I feel like most people that like were into like mathcore or different kind of music, they're probably a little older. Do you think since you just turned nineteen that the that you like just came up kind of just on rap? Well. um... I mean, I didn't even come up on rap because I was I was homeschooled, and then my parents were, you know, they were very protective oh, of to, my to little baby music? ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was like a popular Christian band? Um, I don't really remember any bands, but there was this dude named Toby Mac. Toby Mac. That sounds like a country. Singer. Yeah, I was just gonna say. No, he it was like hip hoppy Christian stuff, kind of. Oh, he wore like, it's not a beret. It was some weird hat. I don't <laughs> know. That's yeah, it was there like was, the coolest thing I could There find. was a cool hip hop scene for a while in LA. Called, yeah. No, and everywhere. Well, in I don't need to have Elemento. But I know like you're talking about Elemento, LA Symphony, but it yeah. was 
Holy Hip Hop. And it was like underground hip hop dudes. Holy Hip Hop. That and sounds like, yeah, fire. Yeah, it was like <laughs> Holy Hip Hop. Holy Hip Hop. But, so, but it was like really real MCs yeah. that were dope. But oh, they rap about, you know, like Pigeon John, LA Symphony, Elemental. I have a song yeah. Whoa, with that's Pigeon John tight. where I talk about getting my dick sucked. And what he talk about? Um, uh, some Christian stuff. Yeah, but I came on but afterwards. Dope. But it's hilarious. Do you ever hear um, a guy named Listener? No. Oh, I used to listen to Elemental. No, Elemental yeah. was dope. I went to a weird ass. I went to a yeah. weird ass underground rap show in a church. Like this is like ten years ago, and the headliner was Elemental. It was weird, and there was like a circle prayer before yeah. and that's i was so like dope. that's when i realized i was that like i was crazy. like i was like it was weird because it was in a band it wasn't like a, an uh, elemental is uh, like a dope mc yeah it was it was not yeah it was not like a, a in like a church being used it was like an abandoned kind of church yeah. and they threw this like how this, you do a hardcore show There's a hardcore yeah and they, they did a uh no but this was like an abandoned church oh. and then it was like a hip-hop show and then before it started there was like a circle prayer and then everyone performed and i was like where the fuck am i i was like <laughs> Sign, yeah, that, so, that sounds like some well, weird shit well, yeah. sign me up well, it was done this, this christian dope. rapper listener he would do shows also at churches but he'd also make them which i think is really cool and community driven he'd make them like a potluck so you'd bring food. Oh, that's uh, tight. I think that's sure. like really cool. Yeah. yeah, that's very progressive. Um, so can food we do the, the thing show. that I want to do? All right, we want to do a thing. I want to do What's a thing. Hold thing? on. Um, edit all right. that out. So I got photos of dogs, six dogs. Oh, okay. So I want six dogs to rate six dogs. Cool. On a scale from one to six. Six being the dope dog. Fire. Okay, got gotcha, you. Fire. Gotcha. Fire. How do you say it? Fire. Johnny. Johnny. Fire. Johnny's a youth. How do you say it? Johnny, how do you say fire? <laughs> how do you say F I E? Five? Five. All right. So oh, six yeah. is five. So six is five. And then what's the opposite of five? Nah. So all right. One Not is nah. Five. Six is five. Oh, um, hmm. I would say that's very five because it's paws and leg regions match the sand. So it just doesn't look like it stops. So oh, it just wow. keeps going. Good eye. So from one to also six. the water in the background is heat. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's awesome. Wow, this dog's living its best life. <laughs> Fi. Wait, so that's it. But what's happening here? Yeah, I was gonna say that's that some, some strange yeah, architecture that's, going on. That's like on. Santa's little helper. This is like, 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 like an IG model photoshopping to make their butt look better. Yeah, it looks. That looks look at this dog's ass like that. <laughs> no, it's very unique. It's a very unique dog ass for sure. Oh man. That one's really fi. Um, it's got a great coat, very fluffy. Um, it looks like it's a little hot. Um, and it looks like there's a lot of direct sunlight. Um, and it's also, it's a black dog, so it absorbs all that, those sun rays, and it's got a huge fur coat. It's probably toasty, so I'm gonna get a bit of a fi, because, just cause. So if it was your dog, you would probably have it groomed more so it'd be more comfortable and then just hot? Well, I'm, it might be a total... It also looks like that could be snow in the grass, and it's oh. perfectly warm. I don't know. You have a great eye, ah, Six Yeah, dogs. you're very observant. <laughs> oh, wow. This boy is mucho fi, bro. Look at this guy. Is that a zombie? Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's like one of the ugliest you know, Uh What's the Lion King? You know the... um. You know what I'm talking about? The hyenas? hyenas. Oh, That's a miniature hyena. I'm going to say this is extremely fine. Give it a seven because Ooh. it's underrated and because it looks like a hyena from Lion King. Would you, would you be okay with that dog walking around your house, though? Like, I would fucking... I don't care, He has man. a cool hairstyle. Yeah, he's got a great hairstyle. All right, all right. So that's it looks like he'd be in a band. Oh, oh this guy's fine for sure. <laughs> This, uh, he looks like um, a loaf of, of bread, like rye bread. He's got some wrinkles in him. He looks like he's having a great time. I wish I was this dog in this moment. He looks like he's having the best time. I go um, hiking in a Legion, Legion Park, which yeah. is in Hair and Echo Park. And that's what you look like? No. But, but, <laughs> Just but picture Allegi Adam with his tongue Allegi out. But Legion Park, but Allegi Park is very popular. Frolicking, bro. Legion Park is very popular for dogs. Yeah. And so a lot of people uh, that go on the hikes all the time, so these dogs know each other. And mm. it's so cool to walk the thing because the dogs are like running with each other and oh, playing. That's awesome. And they're having, like, they're really enjoying themselves. Oh, yeah. They make, they're like friends. Dogs yeah. are the best. Dogs are the best. Man's best friend. 
<laughs> oh, this guy's so funny. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it, it, again, looks like a loaf of bread with all the wrinkles. Um, the chain is spectacular, man. This this guy went to, to Icebox for sure, bro. <laughs> he, got, he got the chain for sure. But if this dog was a man, I feel like he'd be racist. Really? Why would you say that? Why, why, is that? why would you say that? He's like an angry racist ma old man. He looks super kosher though, and just like, yeah. look at it, he's all droopy, and just like, oh, I got a chain on. Yeah, I think he'd be an angry old man. Yeah. He wouldn't like kids or Jews. I could definitely see him not liking kids, but I wouldn't say he wouldn't racist. He like kids, Jews, or blacks. He looks super docile. <laughs> I'm catching the opposite vibe. I'll, be, I'll keep it real. <laughs> so that was, is that four <laughs> dogs? That was oh, do this one. Oh, so we're doing six. Okay, I get it. So my name is Six Dogs. Oh boy, <laughs> that's not All real. Right, this this is the one that I wait. Hold this one's on. Famous. Wait. He is. It looks like Tails from the Crypt. Yeah, it's a that dog is, is fucked this? up. This is torso right there. What is that? Or is that a building? That's crazy. That you can't even tell. Oh, yeah. You. Literally. No, it's not Photoshop. He is like the world's fame. I think he won like is the ugliest old? dog award. Oh old man, fuck? he's gotta get a six man sympathy points. Oh, you, okay. So they're all they're all five. They're all six. They're all five, bro. Are, Are you a dog guy? Not, not even. I'm You're a just cat just guy. I'm a cat Sarah guy. Did you have a cat? I had a cat. Um, okay, so it was like so we have a balcony in my apartment. I live with my girlfriend and and my roommate, but. Uh, the cat would go outside on the balcony and it would get pollen. It would come inside. And my girlfriend has crazy allergies, so now it lives with our neighbor, who's like 30 seconds away. So I get to see oh, it. Whenever. That's nice of your neighbor. Yeah, it's How awesome. Long have you been with yeah. your Super attached. Though. How long have you been with your girlfriend for? Um, a year. Our anniversary was just like two weeks ago. Was she a fan of your music? Yeah, she met me at a show. She's a photographer, so and dope. yeah, it was my second show, and there were like 30 people there. And she was taking pictures, and she was like, yo, let's link and build. And I was like, all right. And I thought she was out of my league because she's older than me. How old is she? She's 22, and I was... Older woman. Yeah. But she, like, dude, it's amazing. She keeps me in check, bro. The voice of reason, for sure. She yep. uh, enhances my experience. That's rad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is there anything else you want to push before we skedaddle? Anything I want to push? Um, talk about... We just dropped the the tape with Danny Hoodrich. Oh yeah, Six Wolves. It was really good. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. I'm sitting on a ton of music. Got lots lots in the vault. Um, working on my album. Uh, don't really know what that's gonna be, but it's it's gonna be a thing. Um, working on some some other stuff. Um, there's. I don't know if, if, if I should even drop this, yeah, but some some Adult Swim stuff. Ooh, oh, yeah. shit. TV um, checks. Oh, That's yeah. good. Nice. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything else on that. Um, clothing stuff. I want to cool. start doing the designs and stuff. Um, lots of stuff to look out for. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. If you and bands did an EP together, would you call it six bands? That's not enough bands. Six bands. Maybe like right? six hundred billion bands. That's mm, what it'd be probably. That's so cool, man. That's so cool. <laughs> six hundred billion bands. Lots of B's. Alliteration. Shout out Ooh. English class. <laughs> All right, man. Well, Pia. Fucking thank you so much for coming through. We're thank very you. excited thank to DJ you. for you. Uh, you're set. What up, squad? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can hit the subscribe button. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram by clicking the links below. Until next time, thanks for watching All Deaf Music.